gang one way. So let's first of all just tackle the one gang part of it. What that means is you've got one switch in the middle of the plate by itself. But that's what we mean by one gang. Basically we mean one switch in the middle of the plate there. Now in order to address the one way part of the switch, we turn this around and look at the back. Now when we look at the back here, you can see that there's three holes in the back of the plate. One of these holes in a one way switch is completely empty it's blank, it doesn't have anything in there at all. The reason for that will become clear when we look at what a two-way switch is. We've got two terminals that actually have something in them, and this is where we would terminate our conductors coming into the accessory. The terminals are marked up common and one-way. You may also find on the back of a switch this may be marked up as common and L1, means the same thing. And all we'd have here is two conductors, one going in the top, one going in the bottom, and the switch will then break that conductor. So what we can see there is we've got a one gang one way switch.